video I'm going to show you how to get custom PS3 themes for your PS3. Now what do I mean by custom? Well, if you go into the PlayStation Store, you can download themes and um, wallpapers and all kinds of stuff. Well, I don't know if you knew this, but you can get themes made by other people off the internet and then install them onto your PS3. Perfectly legal, perfectly safe. Um, Sony invite you to do this, shall we say. So, how this is how we do this. We go onto our internet and we type in PS3 themes. And we come up with loads of results. See here. The best the site I recommend, the best site is best PS3 themes dot com. Just I don't just I generally find it's got better themes. See here it says currently has three thousand three hundred and nine themes, all completely free of charge and available for download. Now I'm I'm into gaming so I'll just go into the game section. It's got quite a lot of sections. I think there isn't a search bar though, that's the oh yes there is. There is a search bar. Cool. So I'll just browse through these glossy icons. That looks pretty cool with the with that. So if you click on that, that link there, you'll get some more information about it. You can see here it's got one comment. But there we go. It's just a bunch of icons thrown together to create something beautiful. That's good, it's beautiful saying it beautiful. It's got a rating here. So I mean it's not rated very highly but this is just uh, to show you anyway. So you click here and it open a new new tab and then here. I'm going to save it. And that's downloading. While that's downloading, I'd just like to show you Deviant Art. Because uh, Deviant Art do quite a few PS3 themes. Closer. So that's all. That's that file downloaded. We've got quite a few. Not as many as the other side though, but these are created by geniuses, shall we say. So, close by all this. And here's my theme. Now, to get a sneak preview of this, what I'm going to do, because this is currently a P3T file, yeah which is the type of the file format a PS3 theme needs to be. To get a sneak preview, I'm going to open it in something called PS3 Theme Creator. This is the software, or one of the softwares, you used by the people who create these themes. Oh. There we go. So as I was saying, this is how people create the themes. So this is what the screen you face with, and you can click and change these icons after you made them in Photoshop, for example. So let's load P3T. It's that one. It takes a while because it's. I think this is one of the first versions that was out that I downloaded. With the later versions, obviously, quicker and stuff. So we can see here these are all the icons. This is going. This is how it's going to look. Quick time logo there, PS3, bit of hard drive. It looks it looks okay. And also here it's only got one background which is unfortunate. This software allows you up to sixteen and it'll randomly select them every time you uh, log on to PS3, for example. It doesn't more than that, but that's just an example. So now you've got your theme you need to put it onto a USB memory stick 
Okay, so you need to put it onto your memory stick as I was saying. So to do this, you insert your memory stick into the computer and navigate to it. Okay, now you have to right click, new, folder, and name it PS3, like I have here. In that, you need to right click, new, folder, and name it Steam, in capitals. If you wish to download the update data off the PlayStation uh, website, PlayStation.com, and then install it onto your PS3, okay. this the first is how thing you're going to do the update. Is take the USB here. stick that you put your so in the on. This is where you put a PS3 your theme theme file, and then in that folder, you insert it into one of your USB ports in your PS3. That's it there. Okay. So now you just eject. Once you've done that. that and I'm going to switch to then navigate the camera to the theme area on the ex on the PS3 sorry. There we go. Click on it, click theme, scroll up to the top and click install. Select the USB stick, then find on there theme that you wish to install. Then re click on the theme, scroll down on the right hand side and select the theme. Just click apply. There you go. That's the theme. Now you just browse around looking at the new theme, enjoying it. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe and keep up to with my videos. Thanks.